Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'm here to show you guys how to prepare a very instant and quick and yummy delicious biryani homemade. Um, I know as it sounds like biryani, it sounds complicated and tough like you always think that there are a lot of ingredients and uh, it's, it takes like a lot of time, time consuming, but it's not too difficult. I have personally learned biryani in just like two, three times by making my, by trying it myself and now I'm very good at making the biryani so I would like to share that recipe with you guys so please um, watch this video till the end and then hopefully you guys will enjoy this recipe and find out um, how the ease of making the biryani and hopefully you guys can try the biryani recipe once at your place all right so for the ingredients mm -hmm. all right so guys I have the Shan biryani masala that I'm going to be mixing with my uh, masala biryani masala but uh, I'm going to be using my own version of making this masala although I'm using this one for like adding in, into my mixture of masala I'm going to be showing you my own type of uh, masala with my own version all right so for the ingredients as you can see here I have um, cubed potato potatoes here, um, just about th three to four cubed of potatoes, just um, slice them into half about. And then um, I have some onions here that I have pre-fried before. And uh, then I have some yogurt, about one cup of yogurt. And then I have just a handful of uh, cilantro to give it a good smell. I love cilantro in my um, uh, every kind of food that I make. And then I have uh, about two, three tablespoons of white vinegar. And then I have uh, salt, a pinch of salt. And then I have uh, two to three tablespoons of uh, tomato paste. And then I have two tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste. And then I have... Um, a few green chilies and one red chili that I like to make my uh, biryani more spicy and hot. And then here we have um, about 8 to 10 drumsticks of chicken that I've just marinated with basic ingredients such as turmeric, um, red chili powder and some tandoori uh, masala. And then here I have uh, turmeric powder, um, I have um, garam masala, I have red chili powder and um, kasuri methi. And then I have one whole tomato. And then here, as you can see, I have separated this dry ingredients on the side. So this side I'm going to be using for my biryani masala and this side I'm going to be using it for my rice. So, so guys, I have my bigger pot here for uh, boiling my rice. And I'm going to be um, turning my flame just to about low. And then uh, for the, um, I'm just going to be putting uh, one te teaspoon of uh, oil for frying my masalas. Just one teaspoon as you can see, just like that, and it's good, good enough. And then um, I'm going to be putting this one side of uh, the ingredients in my ear. So I have um, one, just about one star anise, and then I have black peppers, and then I have uh, two bay leaves, and then here I have one cinnamon stick, and then two cardamoms and then some two cloves and then I have jeera here which will go in there also and then the rest of the other side that will be going in my biryani masala all right and then um, later on once I have all the um, ingredients in there I'm just gonna put water in my big pot here all right there you go so that's my water enough for boiling my rice. All right, so guys, uh, now I've just shifted my pot, the rice pot in here, and I've just still left the heat to me low so that the water gets boiled so I can put my rice for the biryani. And then meanwhile here, I have my pot here that I'm going to be making the biryani masala. And for that, I'm going to be turning my flame to high. And then I'm going to... Just good three teaspoons of oil and then just after that I'm going to be putting my whole chicken so this chicken I'm just going to you know just like um, just turn it like the color to be brown so I'm gonna be adding whole chicken in there someday I'm gonna show you guys how to um, just how to marinate this chicken for the biryani. I like to marinate it for um, two days, three days, so the smell turns out good. Okay. Right, so guys, now it's been good five minutes and uh, my chicken looks like pretty good golden brown, the way how I wanted to shallow fry them for first for my biryani masala and I'm just gonna take them out. I love the smell, so good. 
I can't wait to try this. Alright, so guys, still on the low flame and the same part that I fried um, the chicken, I'm going to be frying my potatoes here as you can see. I like my potatoes a little bit shallow fried, shallow fried before I go on with my um, like mixing the whole biryani masala. So for that I'm going to be putting 2 tea teaspoons of uh, oil again. Alright, and then as you can see my flame is still on the low. So I'm just going to be putting my potatoes in here. Already I can smell the aroma coming out. As you can see here. Um, so now I've just decided to turn on the flame up into like more than medium so that it cooks fast. Alright, so guys, now it's been about 5 to 8 minutes since I put my potatoes to shallow fry. They're not completely done. It's just like I like them to turn a bit more um, uh, goldenish brown so that um, just it gives like a nice beautiful shape to the biryani masala at the end. So I'm just going to take them out here. As you can see the color and also the smell. So good. Wow, just look at the color guys. I wish you guys could like try it. Mm. Alright. Alright, so guys, now I'm starting to put again my um, of oil in my pan here. And then uh, remember guys, the ingredients that I put aside that time, um, the other part was for the rice and then this part is for the um, uh, biryani masala so I'm just gonna dump them in together as you can see here and then I'm um, just gonna give like a one two three seconds my like, good stir of this ingredients as you can see here and then uh, I'm going to Put my whole tomato, I'm just gonna chop it into nice cubes. So I'm just gonna cut it like that. Alright. Alright, so guys, now after my um, tomatoes have been well, like shallow fried, I'm just gonna add my ginger garlic paste here. Now my tomato will go in there. Just gonna rinse it nicely, all right? And then I'm just going to take about half a teaspoon, just half of the salt here for here. And then, oh yeah, I'm just going to be putting um, just about a hand, just about like this much of fried onion in my rice, so it gives a good smell. And then the rest will go in here, but just a little bit I'm gonna put it for later for just garnishing. So that much. And then I'm going to be putting my vinegar. So basically like everything. And then my masalas will go in there as well. The turmeric, the chili powder, the jeera. And then lastly, as you guys know, I love spicy and hot. There goes my chilies. So what I'm gonna do is just, you know, just use my hands and then just put them here. And then same with these green chilies, as you can see. Just gonna like break them apart, just for good smell. All right, so guys, uh, now after adding those ingredients and uh, masalas in here, now it's time for me adding the main masala, the Shah Biryani Masala. So I'm going to be adding the whole packet of this masala. Alright, so just adding the whole thing here. And then there goes my yogurt.
and then just going to give it a good stir for like 10 seconds here mmm guys I wish you guys could like smell it it's it just gives it a good aroma I love it all right so now I'm going to be putting my um, potatoes that I have shallow fried they can go in there and then also my chicken all right so guys now I have just um, put all, everything that's that goes in the um, um, biryani masala everything is in there and I'm just gonna leave it as it is and basically that's it for the biryani masala so I'm just gonna let it by itself cook and then yeah that's it we'll all right so guys now after five minutes of um, like putting everything together I'm going to be putting uh, just just a little bit of water just about half of just about half a cup and then because i don't like my biryani masala to be too like you know like gravyish and then um i'm going to be putting the whole cilantro for the good smell i like putting cilantro in my food and then this one will just be covered for about half an hour for, for it to just cook by itself as you can see here all right so guys now I'm going to be making my rice and I've just taken about three cups of um, rice this one their basmati rice and I'm going to wash them just soak them for about five minutes and then they should be good to be uh, put them in the in a bigger pot here to boil the rice so yeah rice in the in the container here for it to boil so you can see the steam is coming out all right guys um so it's been oh the steam is so much yeah so as you can see i'm going to turn it off right away my flame and then uh it's been like half an hour since i've put my masala in there and it's ready so yeah all right and for the rice guys it, i'm just going to have a look here all right yeah the rice looks good also so I'm going to switch off my stove and the excess water that you see in this pot is just going to be drained out I've put my whole rice in here in this big tray here and then I've switched off my uh, flame here meanwhile so the for the first part I'm going to be doing is layering my base of this um, of this uh, container with the potatoes so I'm just gonna put potatoes in there the reason why I'm putting potatoes down it's because potatoes take a little bit longer to cook than the chicken that's why just being careful with my mixture of uh, chicken and potatoes because the chicken it might be done from inside so I don't want to like you know uh, the meat to fall apart all right so guys I have put my flame to steal its own low and then I've just decided to put a pan underneath my bigger pot so the pot doesn't get burnt and also the simultaneously the food doesn't doesn't get burnt in it so I've put I've layered the first base with my potatoes and then I'm going to layer the next one with rice all right so now I'm going to be layering my um, rice so I'm gonna try my best to layer with at least three let's see how many layers I can make out of this so that was the first layer so I'm just gonna do the same for the second third layer and see how many layers I have at the end all right so after layering my first uh, layer with the potatoes and the rice on top so now I'm left with um, like masala on the side because I don't like making my um, like biryani at the end not too watery and not too soggy so that's why I like to layer them accordingly so for now I'm going to be layering the biryani next with the chicken as I said the first phase was with the uh, potatoes because um, the potatoes take a little bit longer to cook and then the, the 
the rice the chicken takes a less, little less time so there goes my chicken that was the second layer of my um, rice so now I'm just going to be finishing that first so I just use this small little plate to layer my rice with on top and then I'm going to be turning my flame to medium which this whole thing will take about half an hour until like you know it's like giving it a good steam and cooking by itself from inside and also as you can see I have left out my masala on the side because not everyone in my family likes a little too spicy like my niece sometimes she just likes to have rice by itself I and my sister will like more like you know uh, more like hot and uh, like more gravy so we like to put this on the side and then just add it accordingly to how much we need on our biryani so yeah so this is finally going to take about half an hour so i'm just gonna cover this uh, pot for about half an hour so guys now um it's almost done so i'm just gonna turn off my flame and then Ooh, all that steam coming out all right so um i'm just gonna dip in in there and i'm gonna start dishing this out all right so guys now this is the final presentation i didn't do a good job in presentation but i'm sure guys the taste is really yummy um, so as you can see the rice like the rice is really well cooked mm, So sour and tangy Just gonna take a little bit of a little bit bite of the chicken As you can see the chicken is also well done well cooked mm, There goes the potato mm, So good Thank you so much guys. Make sure you guys try this recipe at home and let me know how this video is. I mean how this biryani turns out from your side. You can always like uh, put less uh, spices, add more spice according to you guys' preferences. Yeah, so that was my easy peasy, uh, easy biryani recipe. Uh, I would love to if you guys try it at home. And then if you have any questions, please drop the questions down in the comment box below. And then I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing to my channel. And um, see you guys next time. Thank you so much.